In previous videos, I've been showing short clips of these ornaments I have been making in Onshape. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how to make the Stormtrooper ornament with the Imperial uh, symbol. That would be great for 3D printing. So first thing I'm going to do is go to my part studio. I'm going to place a sketch down on the front plane. Now this can be done uh, easily by looking and searching online for uh, different snowflake patterns and you can import them. I've already imported this one and then you simply can draw out the size and I'm going to come over here and dimension mine to three inches uh, which means this section here will be an inch and a half. Uh, I'm going to line this up with my center point. Again it doesn't have to be exact but I'm going to zoom in and get it as close as possible. And in, to set this up, I'm going to come and do some construction lines. So I'm going to do my line tool, clicking on my construction line. I'm going to go vertical here. And I'm going to do another construction line that is in line with this one. And I'm going to then uh, dimension these oh. two lines. 30 degrees. The reason I'm choosing that is this is 360 degrees. I'm going to repeat this multiple times. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my line tool. And what I want to do is starting off on my construction lines, making sure I start my design there. I'm going to trace. And again, I ended up on my next construction line. I'm going to use my lines and my arc tools. And it's important that we actually end up on these construction lines when the design calls for it uh, to butt up against. So if you're in school or making, doing crafts, you would actually be doing this. Uh, you can see there, I didn't quite line up. So I'm gonna go back on that. I'm gonna make sure I go all the way there. Uh, you'd be doing this that you'd cut it out with scissors and you'd be drawing this pattern on once. So I'm going to see this, I'm going to escape out, I'm going to grab my line tool yet again. You don't need to use a pre-existing pattern. What we're going to, I'm going to show you is a mirror technique and a patterning technique. Now I'm going to pause the video here just to show you so you, this doesn't take up the entire time. So now you can see I've completed my drawing here. Um, notice all my lines end up here and I have closed drawings because I end up on one of those construction lines. So the next thing I'm gonna do is simply, I can delete off this background image because it's no longer needed. That center point construction line is also no longer needed. I'm gonna come up here to my mirror tool I'm going to select my center line and I'm just going to highlight all my lines here and it's going to mirror that sketch. Now I can come up here to my circular pattern tool. I'm going to select again, making sure I'm highlighting everything. Uh, the default is three, uh, but I can then change this. All the way out here on this one, I can click on the three times and I'm going to change that to uh, six times. And we can see that pattern now comes six times. I'm going to then extrude this. I found generally like a 0.2 for 3D printing works best for this. Uh, and you can see I have that pattern using that near and circular pattern tool. Again, this works for any shape. I chose 30 degrees. So when I mirrored it, that gives me uh, 60 degrees. And I, I need it patterned then six times. If you would do a 90 degree one, obviously, then you would pattern, you'd do 45 degrees for your initial one. You'd mirror it. And then you would uh, do four. Uh, so it all really depends on that snowflake snowflake design that you're trying to accomplish. Uh, feel free to choose your own pattern or look for one online and import it as an image to help you trace along.